Rather. It was night, and after the clues led us down to shore, I waited for the culprits to show themselves. However, there were no swordsmiths in sight, only a single eccentric stranger. This stranger claimed to be the one behind the failed forgings and said that he had been patiently waiting for us. He then threatened to destroy the ride in Gokaden. That person was of able body, and in a blink of an eye, myself and the accompanying samurai had been defeated. Commissioner Kamisato was severely wounded, and I barely escaped death myself. My hat had fortunately blunted a blow to my head. The unusual stranger could have easily claimed my life at that moment, but after noticing my appearance, he stopped his attacks and sternly asked if I had any connection with the name Niwa. I answered that it was my father's surname, and after my father disappeared, I was adopted by the Kayadahara family. Upon hearing my answer, the stranger paused. After a long silence, he suddenly said, Tell her this. My name is Kunikuzushi. He then turned and left. What really happened? Yes. My great grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan escaped from death and learned that the forging diagram had been tampered with by Kuni Kazushi. However, due to the encounter, the head of the Kamisato clan was worried that my great grandfather would be falsely accused of being involved with the perpetrator. So even on his deathbed, the master of the Kamisato clan cautioned my great-grandfather to never speak of what happened. Because the perpetrator said he would destroy the Raiden Gokaden, my great-grandfather worried that the perpetrator would still return for vengeance. So, to protect his loved ones, he closed the family business. He said, as the leader of the Kaidahara clan, I am deeply ashamed to witness the decline of the Ishin art. But as a father, it is my priority to ensure the safety of my children and grandchildren. Yes, that's right. If my grandpa had somehow discovered the secret behind the tampered diagram all those years ago, perhaps my great-grandfather would have told him the truth. Unfortunately, he failed to catch any of the hints in my great-grandfather's words. Miss Kamisato, it appears you were unaware of the happenings that my great-grandfather described here. What are your thoughts? Hmm... I suppose the reason the head of the Kamisato house never spoke of this to the family was due to similar safety concerns. If the perpetrator was capable of tampering with even the Shogun's diagrams, and could single-handedly defeat many men, then he is not an ordinary enemy. I will discuss this matter with brother shortly, and investigate the identity behind the one called Kuni Kuzushi. Rest assured, we will act cautiously. To be honest, as I read the letter, I felt much turbulence in my heart. But now I've managed to calm myself. My great-grandfather said in the letter that he did not wish his descendants to blindly seek revenge, and be deceived by things of the past. Though he was in a tight situation when he wrote these words, I feel like they are still valid nonetheless. I think what's most important for each person is not the past, but the present. Even though we must carry the burdens from the past, there are also things we wish to strive for. Therefore, knowing the truth behind what happened is enough for me. I will live on just as my great-grandfather had hoped. That being said, if the enemy from all those years ago is still lurking and plotting to stir up more trouble, then I definitely won't turn a blind eye. These are simply insights I've gathered from all that I've experienced. Thank you all for accompanying me in my search for the truth behind that incident. <laughs> 